Now, the first task you have to master is you. You have to own that you are causing the problems you are experiencing in trading, hard as that may be. That is what we need to own. And particularly, when you notice a problem that keeps repeating itself despite your best efforts, you are essentially looking at an implicit or a subconscious belief that is driving an instinctual learned pattern of emotion and behavior embedded in your neurocircuitry as an automatic response to a real or perceived threat or opportunity. Now, unfortunately, the belief and associated emotional patterns have become so familiar that you don't even notice them triggering and taking over your trading mind. These automatic reflexes are not obvious to your thinking brain, right? That is why they go undetected despite the carnage to your trading account or money that gets left on the table and why they keep repeating themselves. Now, traders, being human, try to fix the trading problem by working harder, by pushing harder, by using affirmations, visualizations, denial, positive self-talk, tapping, NLP, or whatever is currently popular. Now, the problem here is that the thinking brain is not involved. Rather, it is the emotional brain, or what I like to call the caveman brain. The emotional brain does not have a language like the thinking brain. So you are not aware of the presence of the survival instincts of the emotional brain. And there lies the essence of the problem. But you are aware of the outcomes of the emotional hijacking of your thinking brain, right? When you get faced with risking capital to an uncertain future, which is trading. Now, most traders stay stuck in this dilemma in perpetuity and therefore never taste that promise that trading can deliver and does deliver to that small percentage of traders who work this out, that one to 5%.